Yeah, I've got you on speaker, so we're both here. Um, yeah, let me, um, let me put you on my surround sound so you're a little louder. Let's see how that works. This is an experiment. Oh, that's pretty loud. Yeah, that'll work. You still there? Is that better? Oh, yeah, much, mm -hmm. much better. Okay. Let me do a quick test. Uh oh, I hear an echo. Yeah, it's echoing because it's all my surround sound. Is that is that bothersome? It's not going to work. Okay, I'll take it off. Okay. Okay, you're off. You're just on speaker now. Testing one, two, testing one, two. Is that as loud as your phone go? Yeah. Okay. And, oh, yeah, echo's gone. And... And your name again? My name is Sabrina. And I am just chat with Bree. So now let me tell you what my goal is with the shows. I don't know if you've gotten a chance to look at any of them um, or, or listen to them or look at any of them. I do interviews with people from all walks of life. Uh, I got you. Well, and we do lots of different stuff. I, you know, I was looking at that, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off um, the interview, and I'm going to have you introduce yourselves. We're going to do four segments of up to ten minutes each. Okay. And you'll end up getting a copy of this, and when you get a copy of it. You can put it anywhere you want. It's an MP3 format, and you can put it anywhere you want on your web page or you know whatever, because um, it'll be your very own interview. Now I am affiliated with KYBN out of the Bay Area, and so that's where my home station is. But we have over nine million listeners, and my show has over 120,000 as of last year. So I don't know what it is now, and. We have a nice following in Arizona, all the way up from here, all the way up through Phoenix. I was really tickled for that. Um, I I try to get um, local businesses and do little commercial form and stuff, you know, just, just different things, just to broaden it some. And like I said, with these, I have talked to Kool F them, and, and um, he, you know, he's not a talk show kind of place, but he wanted to find a place to put the show and I wanted to have some local uh, artists and, and I call anyone that's a guest of mine an artist uh, to have local artists uh, where the listeners could li listen to hometown folks. Fantastic. Well, we've uh, we invited Cool FM uh, actually out on our um, our tour of Miracle Valley Bible College, uh, right before it was sold, we had a tour given to us, hosted by the f last owner uh, before Cochise County purchased it. So that was pretty cool. Wow. And we were that, the only. Now, uh, that college is the one out there going toward, um, um, going toward Hereford, right? Uh, yeah, you go through Hereford, and uh, it's on the way to Old Bisbee. And we also I heard a lot of different stories about that. Uh, well, the video dispels a lot of them um, and gives the, the skinny on A.A. On a. Allen, who was the original founder, how he got the property, 
Uh, it's pretty in-depth. Um, I think between all four videos, it's a little over an hour. Um, and we also did uh, a very long video on Camp Naco uh, with Professor Orozco hosting a tour, and we had a contingent of the okay, Buffalo well, Soldiers. Hold on, hold on to that. Hold on to that information, because I'm that kind of talk show that I actually let my, my guests talk. I'll, I'll do lead-in questions for you, and then you take it away, but just be very mindful that each segment is only up to 10 minutes, okay? Okay. Because what happens is, is the introduction, then we talk, and then I go to a break. Now, when I say we'll be right back, don't hang up on me, okay? Or even when I end the show, don't hang up. Um, in between that is commercials and music. And uh, you can tell me what kind of music you want in there, unless you got some music that you want put in there. Uh, I, I, um, I'm really, you know, accommodating as far as that goes. And it's, it's a good show. I've been on for four years. My um, son got it for me. I started it in memory of my grandson who committed suicide uh, almost four years ago. And it's, it, I've been uh, syndicated on a couple of different stations in Atlanta, Virginia, and uh, D.C. And for different reasons, I've taken the show off of there because I'm really particular as to what genres are, you know, I, I my, my audience is from the ages of 40, and up heavily between the 50, 60, 70 age range. Why? I don't know. Maybe because I'm just a clean talk show. <laughs> I don't know. But I um I, I like it, you know, because it's a it's a dedicated audience and it's a loyal audience, and that reflects in my numbers. So, hi Tim. Hello. <laughs> I know you can't when, see me. When you're talking, we should, you guys are up close to the mic, okay? Okay, we'll lean forward. Well, thank you. Lean forward, lean forward. <laughs> All right, we're going to start. I'm going to pause, and then I'll do the introduction, and then we're going to stop. Um, Tim, Murphy, last name too? Yes, ma'am. All right, and it's Jeff, correct? That is correct also. All right. All right, guys, here we go. The recording has started. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, and welcome to Just Chat with Bree. Now, you guys know I talk about the little hometown service stuff all the time, so we're going to be doing a series of interviews of local residents of Sierra Vista, and this is the first one. We have with us today Jeff and Tim Murphy. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Oh, I like that. Did you see that? That was that unison thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we should, we oh, should yeah. know that we are brothers, though, uh -huh. we, though we are not twins. Okay. You guys heard that. They're brothers. But they're not twins. But that you, that high was kind of in unison, huh? <laughs> well, they say oh, great right. minds so think alike. Uh huh? I said they say they say great minds think alike. And I like that. I believe in that. So we are now sitting with greatness, you guys. Now Jeff and Tim, and that's Jeff with a G. Um, they are. Sierra Vista area residents, and they've got some pretty exciting things that they do. But before we get into that, I'd like for each of you guys to tell me just a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm. This is Timothy. I uh, I'm a retired tow truck driver um, from Napa, California, originally. Um, and after I got run over a couple of times, I ended up having to retire so my wife and I sold our property and moved to Sierra Vista to be closer to my uh, two brothers and father unfortunately we lost him uh, about four years ago five years ago yeah we still have the brother right and uh, that's how I originally came here to Sierra Vista as a retired broken tow truck driver Uh, it was 
was just kind of the way you said, well, you know, I got tired of getting run over. And it's like, uh, okay, I'm right. I can see why that would make you change. And Jeff. Yes. Um, so I was a contractor, remodeler, and master glazer for my career. Uh, I worked harder than everybody else and wrecked my legs, and I'm now disabled. Uh, if you watch the videos on your channel, you'll see that my legs don't work so good. Um, but uh, I just I moved here seven years ago uh, from Phoenix. I spent a year in Phoenix. Phoenix hated me, and I hated Phoenix. Uh, before that was Austin, Texas, and uh, just love the American Southwest. lot of different little um, interesting notes in, in the surrounding area. Now, you and your brother have founded the SGOCC, and that stands for the Shooting Gallery of Cochise County. This is one of the things that you do. So, tell me, how did you guys come up with this? Well, I started the Shooting Gallery of Cochise County uh, back in officially November of 2019 and we have a military base here in Sierra Vista uh, Fort Huachuca and it's a training center for the intelligence personnel and they cycle through about 10,000 trainees every three and a half months and at the time I was driving for Uber and in conversation with these young folks they had all the opportunities to do everything except shoot guns and they had a lot of rifle ranges out on the base, so I put together a program and, and started the shooting gallery. And it's uh, unique in the United States in that our customers shoot our guns. They provide the ammo, we provide everything else. Hearing protection, eye protection, targets, tables, uh, tables cute, cute range attendants, everything. Uh, we either go out in the desert or to the Sierra Vista gun range. And it's a lot of fun. Wow. Tim, any input? Um, no, you pretty much summed it up. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, it was about a, All right. it was about a year after I moved here and, uh, I started exploring with, with Jeff and my youngest daughter. And one day Jeff was like, we should start a YouTube channel. So we did. Wow. Okay. Well, I have gone to your YouTube channel, and we are going to discuss that. And one thing I wanted to ask about your, um, before we go to that, I want to ask about the shooting gallery. Can anyone go to it, or is it just limited to certain people? Anybody that wants to experience firearms that we have in the inventory is welcome to book a shoot. Um, you book either a three-gun or a four-gun shoot. Either way, it's about two hours. We give a 15-20 minute safety introduction first, kind of see what level of experience our customers have, and then we uh, <clears throat> monitor them very closely and they get to experience shooting different guns that they very likely most of the time don't have access to. And that's kind of the, the selling point of the gallery. I want to make sure we get everything for this and, and this during this time. I need a website address for this and hours of operation. Uh, we're licensed anywhere in the state of Arizona, and we will accommodate any daytime uh, shooting booking during the week and on the weekends. Whenever you a customer wants to go, we'll accommodate them. Um, yeah, we don't we don't have a website. Um, it's we we have our phone number, and people contact us, set up a time, and then we just go out and do do it. We've um, never had a website or anything like that. But if anybody knows how to build a website, please contact us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now Tim just said something very important because they have to be able to contact you if they don't know you. So what is that phone number? 520-473-9022. One more time. 
520-473-9022. All right, listeners, so now you know that in the state of Arizona, Jeff and Tim have the shooting gallery of Cochise County, and it is a private shooting club, first of its kind in the United States, correct, gentlemen? That is correct, but, yes. All right, now these two guys have told you they provide all of your safety needs. And Tim is going to give us that number one more time before we go to break. 520-473-9022. All right. Don't go away. We'll be right back with more of Jeff and Tim Murphy. This session is no longer being recorded. Okay, see how that goes? Yeah, I think we used up 10 minutes pretty fast. <laughs> it went really fast, and you got a lot of information out. Fantastic. We like that part. Right. Okay, so are we ready for number two? Absolutely. Okay. <clears throat> the recording has started. And welcome back to Just Chat with Bree. And today, my guests, Jeff and Tim Murphy. They are Sierra Vista residents, and you guys know I like to talk about Sierra Vista. So uh, they talked to us in the last segment about their shooting gallery of Cochise County. That's their first business. Now, these guys have so much going on. They've also got a YouTube channel. I want you guys. Uh, I want one of you to tell me how you decided to get a YouTube channel, and I want the other one to tell me what is this YouTube channel about. Well, <clears throat> when Tim moved here, um, we would go out with his daughter, metal detecting, exploring, because we both love history. Uh, we both grew up in Napa, and there's a big history in the Bay Area. And when we transplanted to Sierra Vista, we just picked up from there. So uh, one day... We're out. I think we. I think it was the first time we went to the Gleason Ghost Town. Knew nothing about it. Just kind of bumped into it, and we decided, hey, why don't we start a YouTube channel? That was two and a half years ago, almost. It's called Adventuring with the SGOCC, and we do all kinds of stuff: abandoned mine explorations, uh, metal detecting, abandoned mines, rock hounding, rock polishing. Rock shaping. Uh, we have uh, we belong to the um, a gold mining club here in Sierra Vista, so we're, we actually have permission to go on a stream bed gold mining claim. Um, we've got videos on our channel for uh, panning, gold mining. We, in fact, we have uh, plans on going out later this year and, and filming. Um, because you'd be amazed at how much the terrain changes within a year after monsoons and the winter season ends. Uh, we've done historical things with um, Camp Naco and Professor Orozco, Bisbee Baseball Field, one of the oldest baseball fields in America, still active. We've also done uh, Gleason, Miracle Valley. Oh, we've also done the um, a, uh, the other gentleman. Uh, Bob Miller in Vail, Arizona, uh, is the owner of a 650-foot deep silver mine that Tim went into and filmed it all. The, the exhaustive amount of information that Bob had on what materials and stuff that we were looking at in the video is just crazy. Um, and that's Desert Adventures over in Vail, Arizona. We do a lot of historical stuff here in Cochise County. Um, we love living in the Old West. Uh, upcoming on March 2nd, we've been given permission by the owner of the Gleason Ghost Town to be the first group to have permission to go into the ghost town and metal detect all the property. The, the school ruins, the hospital ruins, everything. So we're pretty excited about that. Yeah, recently we, we were there, and it, that that's um, 
that video in Gleason is, is already on our channel. We do so much. Um, sometimes you'll see in our videos, we come across animals, deer, uh, antelope, which we never knew we had antelope here in Southern Arizona, deer. Uh, we've got that one of the hawk flying right off the branch. Yeah. That's one of our shorts. Um, we saw a quarter moon day and we're looking for another one. Yeah, we but, didn't get uh, that on video, unfortunately. All kinds of stuff. Um, we really love the Old West. Um, we do historic site stuff. We did a, a two videos, part one and part two, of a, a video tour of Sierra Vista. Uh, we might do a third one because we got most of it, but there's still some parts that, like heading out to Hereford on Highway 92, we might catch that as well on a third video. We have playlists that I was able to edit and put together that show a bunch of stuff. Um, we did Car Canyon in a six part series, I think it was, uh, with uh, a lot of really in-depth stuff about the mining up in Car Canyon and the stamp mill that we found, uh, and then all the way down to a 1920 Dodge Brothers hearse that we've discovered that's being restored. So it, it, we run the gamut of all kinds of stuff. And and none of our videos are scripted. We don't do, and everything's recorded on a cell phone also. Um, I'm the main camera person. I don't really like being on film very often, but you'll see me occasionally. And if you watch the videos, you'll see why. I'm a horrible camera person. My hands, you know, I shake, uh, I'm waving all over the place. There's no steady action like Tim has. But like he says, no scripts, no rehearsals. Everything's got to come from the heart because we love what we do. And we want to share uh, with the people that enjoy our videos. Recently, um, we we're starting to let um, my youngest daughter start handling it. Uh, and we'll let her start doing that more often going forward until she learns how to be a great camera person. Well, initially, when we first did the first few videos, um, we had a lot of input from people saying that they were well done and they appreciated how uh, they could tell nothing was scripted and we were just speaking from the heart and they, they suggested we continue. And so I started putting together a list of places we wanted to visit, like Johnny Ringo's gravesite. Um, that was a good one. The Empire Ranch, and it turns out there's two sides of it. Um, all kinds of stuff like that, and we just we just keep chipping away at the list. Wow, that is so exciting! Now here we go again. I would like for you to let the listeners know where can we go to find these videos, and what are, what what are the names that they're under? Well, the title of the channel is Adventuring with all caps, S-G-O-C-C, -C, and there's a dot in between all the letters, and that'll take you right to us. You'll see a beautiful sunset, uh, and that's the, the picture of the channel. And I think we're up to 670 videos now, um, and 1,073 subscribers last I checked, which is cool try to increase that number. So listeners, they just told you, if you want to go and, and see some great videos of the place that we live in, which is, we're old West history. I mean, people don't really realize how close we are to Tombstone even. Um, we're what, 15 miles away. There's a lot of history in them there are hills. <laughs> there sure is. So, have gone out and they're giving you a bird's eye view. So before we go to break, which is just a second, 
where can they see the YouTube? Uh, adventuring with the SGOCC. And between the SGOCC, you have to put little dots or it, it doesn't take you to the right YouTube channel. You got to make sure those dots are in between the SGOCC. And the SGOCC is all caps. All right, listeners, you got that. We're going to go to a brief break and we're coming back with more of Jeff and Tim Murphy. This session is no longer being recorded. That was pretty good. You guys got a lot of information out. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Are you comfortable with what you're doing? Are you comfortable uh, with the process of how we're doing it? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm, we're having fun. <laughs> okay. Am I talking too much? No, no. no. You can ask more questions if you want. So, incidentally, we both grew up in Napa, California. So, a lot of our friends okay. from back home are going to know your radio station that you're affiliated with there. Thank you. Okay. Is it kind of like what you thought it would be? Uh, better. Oh, I'm going to pat myself on the back for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Here we go. The recording has started. Drop this. I was afraid of that. Welcome and thank you for choosing mm. freeconferencecall.com. You are helping people around the world communicate for free. Yeah, we apparently your lost our code followed by the pound Drop or the call. Sign. So we're having technical difficulties. This is behind the scenes of our actual first ever Please radio interview. And we don't script anything. Um, and as, as this is a behind the scenes thing, you've heard that they prep us, the radio personality yourself. preps us. Jeff and Tim, uh, my phone dropped the call and I apologize, Sabrina. No worries. We're going to pick up right from where I left off. How about that? Perfect. Okay. The recording has 
get started. So now, what is one of your favorite ventures that you went on um, about the sites that you've explored and one of your favorite videos or one of your favorite ventures, period? Well, how about we each take one, uh, Kim? What, what am I... One of, one of the, the my top five was um, when we found those three mines up in the Dragoon Mountains. Yeah, that was, that, that was cool. pretty exciting. Um, when we actually did the real Tombstone Cemetery, I like that one. The Stamp Mill was another good one I liked. Um, metal de the metal detecting is is. The, the fourth and the, the most exciting was when we got to hang out with uh, uh, Joe over in the Gleason Ghost Town. Ghost Town. That was my favorite. Well, for me, um, discovering the Titan II missile silo out in Vail was pretty big. And also the uh, hour plus long video we did at Camp Naco with Professor Orozco and a contingent of the Buffalo Soldiers Motorcycle Club. That video got sent to the Department of Interior and we've been told it was instrumental in helping the camp gain a grant to preserve the camp. It's so the, it's we're pretty excited one. about that. Yeah, that Camp Naka is the very last camp along the border. Arizona border. Yeah. Wow, wow. Okay, so now my curiosity is peaked up to know about um, this Gleason uh, haunted, ha haunted area. Uh, everyone that knows me knows I'm a big UFO and haunted house person. So tell me something interesting about that that you got to learn. Well, we discovered Gleason by accident before we started the channel. And we've got some still pictures of Tim and Cassie up on what we thought was the foundations of a motel, but it turns out that was the school. Um, we heard from another channel that we do stuff very similar with who told us the first Saturday of every month that Joe Nono was the uh, owner of the Gleason Ghost Town would be out there and uh, we could get one of his daughters or his niece to conduct a tour for us well as it turns out uh, first Saturday of January Joe himself was out there and gave us the tour um, pretty cool stuff the the school, they hear uh, children playing around it all the time. And they had a, a UFO team come up from Phoenix, or not UFO, a, a paranormal team. And uh, they interacted with the children's voices and asked them why they stay there. And they said, because it's fun. They have fun there. And we thought that was pretty cool. Um, and if you get the chance, man, head out to Gleason. It's really a cool tour. Uh, but on the same tour, we w went to buy a trailer uh, just in the desert, in between the mines and the ghost town itself. And Tim and I started to get out, and you could just feel this really heavy darkness and very foreboding uh, feel about the whole place. And we didn't make two steps toward it. Got back in the side-by-side. -side and Joe said that was the traitor uh, of a guy that they nicknamed Bigfoot uh, who had participated in a very dark part of the history of Gleason. Um, and he was found himself on uh, Arizona's death row for his crimes. Uh, you can look it up. I don't want to discuss it because I don't want to bring everybody down. But... It was pretty exciting being in the ghost town and feeling all this different stuff. We went to the hospital. Um, they have a hanging tree there where they used to just, uh, in, before the jail was built, they used to just chain wrongdoers to this big cable that went in between two big trees. <laughs> and they just threw them a blanket and that's where they slept overnight. So if you got drunk in Gleason back in the old days, you slept on the ground. Wow. So we got uh, on Facebook, I was promoting the channel and talking about stuff, and this guy named Bob Miller, who owns Desert Adventures, 
told us he had a 650 foot deep silver mine and he invited Tim and I to come out there. And so uh, we went out there and, and we kind of did a uh, kind of a commercial for him. Um, we edited it down and put it on a CD so he could use it for advertising his business, Desert Adventures. So Tim went down in this 650 foot deep silver mine. He was down there for over an hour. Bob conducted a tour, showed him all the different kinds of mineralization that was underground, uh, how they use different tools to get the silver ore out. It just really, really uh, the ore intensive uh, tour of a silver mine. And uh, it, it's the, I've seen it now a couple of times since we recorded it. And the more I watch it, the more I learn. I'll say that. Wow. All right, listeners. Now I'm sitting here with my hands under my chin, going, "Wow!" Now I've got to, I've got to go and find some of these ventures. And because I'm doing that, I know the listeners are like, "Man, I just got here. I don't even know what, how to go see it. Where will they go see it, guys?" Well, that's the thing. Um, we announce things on the channel uh, ahead of time, like. The, uh, the metal detecting trip that we have upcoming March 2nd in the Gleason Ghost Town. We invite our subscribers to join us on our adventures. Uh, the first couple of mines that we went into and explored, uh, we invited some of our subscribers to join us and uh, one guy actually did, he brought an oxygen meter and we went down in, into a side uh, mine that was literally 20 feet off the road and big opening I'm six foot three I can stand up fully inside this mine um, and there's a there's a video of course of it <laughs> but uh, Shannon was the guy the subscriber that joined us he's still a subscriber he brought along an oxygen meter and explained to us that when you're exploring an abandoned mine uh, you really want to be watchful of two things number one critters snakes uh, sometimes you might end up going all the way in and find a bear that's in hibernation porcupines porcupines you got to be careful of what's in there right now, secondly um, the oxygen level if you're in a mine and the oxygen level drops to 21 percent get out a human being cannot survive on 21 percent oxygen and we always wear hard hats we're all about safety Hard hat with you when you come? Uh, depends on how many people are coming. Uh, we have extra hard hats, but it, you know we put all that together beforehand. If we announce like we we understand that there's a another Titan II missile silo in St. David. Uh, some of the people I go to church with grew up in St. David, so we have a reasonable idea of where it is, and we'll go out there. Tim and I will explore it, make sure of things. Uh, if it's privately owned, we'll talk to the owner. And then we'll make an announcement on the channel that we're going to go there and where people can meet us and at what time, and then we'll all go together. Yeah, we've, we're have we doing that for the Gleason May 2nd um, metal detecting, where we've already mentioned it a couple of times. And, and you don't have to worry about bringing money because it's not a set price. They accept cash donations, and that's how they keep it going. Traveler hanging out with you because I am so nosy. <laughs> we like that. I love a good adventure. We love so that. You're welcome to join us to... anytime, Sabrina. Oh my goodness. Well, you, you got a new you got a new person hanging out with you. We're gonna go to a brief break and we're gonna come back and we're gonna let Jeff and Tim talk to you about what they want to talk to you about. Okay. Thank you for listening. This session is no longer being recorded. This has been so much fun. We're gonna have to do it again. <laughs> Absolutely, we 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 are we're toying with again. we're toying with doing something live, and perhaps you could include yourself and be involved in that coming up. Wow, yeah. wow! This this is exciting. This is my cup of tea here. I got some hiking boots. I'm going to join you on something. I yeah, I've got to go to California um, in two weeks to do a show because you know I'm based out of there. So. 
they like are like, are you coming to see us? Well, yeah, yeah, I'm coming. But uh, I like this. Do, do you? This would be really cool on Cool FM. If you think about it, it'll be really cool for Sierra Vista to know. How many people live in Sierra Vista and don't know these things? Uh, probably a lot, but we, uh, <laughs> we'll discuss that off the air. No worries. No worries. Okay. We're going to go into the last one. Okay. Okay. You guys ready? Yep. And, and are you pleased with the content thus far? I am ecstatic. Okay. Cause you know, I, I do the editing and everything for it. And so, you know, I, it'll, I'll slice it and it'll flow really smooth. You know, what kind of music you want in between? Because, you know, we do the commercials, and then I play a couple of songs, and then we come back to the next segment. Do you have any preference of what kind of music? You can uh, you can grab any of the music that, off the channel that we use of me playing guitar. Uh, there's one called Bloodstone Cross that we did in... Um, do you have it in MP3 format? Uh, no. no. It's just on the channel. Like ah. Format? Uh, uh, I'm not sure. We're, no. we're technically deficient. Me too. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> yeah. If you can, I'll see if I can't. Uh, no, well, I, it, I'm. I was just going to let her pick a song. Any songs. Yeah, Tim says. Well, what do you want? Do you want like all music? Do you want a little country in there? Do you want a little rock? What you want? Well, it, it, I did, play guitar. Did, I play hard rock metal guitar, um, and I write. And I, you know, Tim and I did an album with a friend of ours back in Napa, what twenty four years ago. Yeah, but well, we don't talk about yeah, that. Yeah, we don't talk about that. But um, yeah, so anything, <laughs> anything aggressive and hard, <laughs> or or just pick whatever you think will fit. You know, maybe a country song when we talk about Gleason kind of thing. And then add a, a couple of different songs in between. Country, country. Like Willie Nelson's, you know, and a country boy can survive. I think that's a good one because we do a lot of our stuff out in the country. I will find something. Um... That's a good song, though. I mean, that's a good American. Whatever. And it's a song we grew up with. There's not kids. Me. Not me. Yeah. No, it's country. Who sings it? Well, I believe it's Willie Nelson. And a country oh, okay. boy can survive. I'll have to. I'll have to look and see what I can find. Um, I got like a. You know, I, I do a lot of independent artists. Um, I have a lot of independent artists. Um, I'm, I've got station that if you can have never been on the radio, I'll make sure you get on the radio and your music gets on the radio. Uh, that's why I was asking you if you have MP3 because that opens up a whole new thing. That I can do. So let's get this one done, and that way we'll at least have this this, this show done. And you guys do realize you can come back anytime you want to, right? Uh, we do now. Yes. Yeah. All right, guys. Here we go. The recording has started. Ooh, ba doo ba doo ba. And welcome back to Good Chat with Bree. Yep, and Tim Murphy. Oh my goodness, you guys. I, I really enjoyed the day today. It is so exciting to find out we have all of these things right in the surrounding area. So if you're ever in Arizona, you got to look these guys up and you got to see, are, are they going to be doing a tour when we're there? We got to go on a tour, playing a vacation around it. Or if you can't do that, go subscribe to their YouTube channel. They're going to give you all of that information again. This is the segment that I give to my guests to talk about whatever they would like. Now, I also did hear a little snippet back there. Do you know these two guys also are musically inclined? So you guys know that means we're going to have to have them back so we can talk music with them too. Gentlemen, I give you the floor. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sabrina. So we are... We are the shooting gallery of Cochise County. That's what the SGOCC stands for. It's a private shooting club based here in Sierra Vista, but we're licensed anywhere in the state of Arizona. From that grew a YouTube channel called Adventuring with the SGOCC. The SGOCC is all caps and a dot in between. 
that'll take you to our channel, which is uh, the the picture of the channel is um, a sunset picture that I took on Highway 90 uh, out near the airport that looks like a flash of lightning, but it's a sunset. We have extraordinary sunsets here in Southeast Arizona. Uh, my brother Tim and I started the channel uh, because we have a passion uh, for history and all things in the high desert and the Old West. Um, we have, I think we're up to 673, 658 videos. We have 1,073 subscribers. Um, we're trying to stack watch hours right now. So with all of those videos and our different playlists, uh, we encourage anybody and everybody to just give a watch, check them out. We do a lot of different things. There's music videos, abandoned mines, explorations, rock hounding, uh, working our gold claim, uh, exploring historic sites. Uh, we've done all kinds of really cool stuff. We've been really lucky in that when we go out driving looking for something to do or find or discover, on our adventures um, like for instance the Warren ball field in Bisbee Arizona oldest continuously operating baseball park in America we saw it we stopped by when we did as it happens the guy who was the caretaker was there so we got a full and complete tour of the the dugouts the underground stuff that's behind the scenes, a little bit of the history of the ballpark and who was there. Um, when we did Camp Naco, we invited Professor Orozco to host that, and she did. Um, fantastic stuff. Uh, driving out in Hereford one day after we did uh, a video on the town of Hereford, the old ghost town, there's still foundations out there, we saw somebody sitting in front of the Miracle Valley Bible College, pulled in, started talking, turns out that's the former owner. We arranged for a video to be done three weeks later. And that's where we invited Cool FM Online to come out and visit us. They're a local online radio station. Actually, I think they just opened up a, a storefront as well. Um, and we just happened to bump into stuff like that. Um, and we've been really, really well received. We get a lot of video commentary on, hey, you guys do great videos. Uh, and nothing is sub, uh, scripted or rehearsed. Everything's got to come passionately from the heart so you feel uh, how much we enjoy it, you as the subscriber or the viewer. We just want to share the Old West, uh, historic sites, all the stuff that we're into, and we're into a lot of stuff. And some of the stuff we're into um, that we've actually videoed. Um, we have uh, gun cleaning video, uh, videos. Uh, we did one on my uh, six hour nine millimeter p320 uh, we've got a uh, an archery yes archery video of uh, where I bought custom arrows fitted for my daughter and her small bow she has a small compound bow I have a large compound bow and then I have a small crossbow and a larger crossbow Um we do, uh, in fact, one, one of our gun videos has to deal with when I took my daughter out her first time shooting a 22. We filmed it. And, you know, you'll see some of the safety things we have and the type of cowboy guns that we had out there. Uh, we had our uh, twin cowboy pistols. <coughs> oh, sounds like somebody knocked on the door. Yeah. Let's see who this is. Go ahead, Tim. Um, um, we, d we do a lot of, uh, recently we started a new segment where, uh, Jeff does in the bunker with Jeff and every week we feature one of the guns that you can use when you book a shooting with us. Uh, we figured if we do it one at a time, that would be a great idea. Uh, we've got all kinds of different videos and we just started a new series here three months ago called in the Bunker with Jeff. Every Wednesday, 
I look at a different firearm, tell you what I like about it, don't like about it, how it handles, how it shoots, all that kind of stuff. I think we're up to 13 on that. There's a playlist that has nothing but those. Um, we're always searching for different stuff. Uh, we're on the hunt right now for two things. Uh, Titan II missile silo that we heard about in St. David. And also, uh, the U.S. Army used to have an artillery range called Little Tunisia. And we know where it is, but we're trying to find vehicle access to get to it. Uh, it may require hiking. And if that happens, then we'll invite our subscribers to come out and join us. We can't metal detect it because metal detectors set off munitions that may be buried. And we don't want to blow up any of our subscribers, you see. We try to interject a little bit of humor, a little bit of funny, um, and we get some commentary on that. Uh, we just we have fun with the channel, have fun showing people uh, everything about uh, firearms. We grew up around guns. So to us, it's second nature, but not everybody did. And so we try to help those that didn't become familiar so they're not afraid of them. Um, of course, we do metal detecting. Tim's dogs and my dog have all been in our videos. Um, we just, it's the Old West, and there's tons of stuff in Cochise County to go explore and experience. And that's what we're all about. Fantastic. Uh, so we can be found on YouTube under Adventuring with the SGOCC. SGOCC, all caps, with a dot in between. We can also be reached for anybody that wants to set up a shoot or book a shoot at locally 520-473-9022. And we respond to every single comment that's left on every single video. Um, we as, love as to interact with our, our subscribers. Um, we invite our subscribers to join us out on our adventures because, uh, doggone it, we have fun. <laughs> and what are we doing this weekend? <laughs> well, guys, I definitely had fun with you today, and I really, really enjoyed the fact that you took the time to make sure that you came and you shared this with the listeners. That being said, we are out of time. Jeff, Jim, I invite you back again soon. Thank, thank you very much, Sabrina. Uh, what thank was you the radio much. station again in the Bay Area? It is on KYBN Radio 98.1 FM. So, listeners, go follow Jeff and Tim. Jeff and Tim, thank you so much. And until we talk again, I bid the all of you. Thank you very much. And you have a blessed weekend and have a good, uh, safe journey back to California. Au revoir. <laughs> you guys, that's so cool. All right, listeners, we'll talk to you again soon. Thank you very much, this dear. This session is no longer being recorded. Did you, guys, did you guys feel like you got everything else that you wanted? Oh, man, it, it was fantastic. It exceeded all of our expectations. Oh, my goodness. Well, I'm definitely going to edit, and then I'm going to... You're going to air next week. Okay. Um, what's a better day for you? Because, you know, now this comes on 5 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, I live in Sierra Vista, so what I do is I upload the show the night before, and I'm not going to lie, I probably sleep through most of them. Uh, <laughs> it's early in the morning, well, and I opted to do pre-record. 
I'm a former contractor, so I wake up at 5 a.m. every day, regardless. Yeah, as an as an ex tow truck driver, I'm. A, what I'm going to do, Jeff, is I'm going to forward you. Um, okay, I know you texted me today. So, so you live here in town. You. With, I live in Fairbanks. Uh-huh. We're going to have to go out on an adventure together. Absolutely. Can, Definitely. can you pencil in meeting us at Gleason at 10 a.m. on May 2nd? March 2nd. Or March 2nd? God, I hope like I didn't March say May. 2nd? No. March 2nd, we're March going 2nd. Yeah, we're going to go back to the Gleason Ghost Town to metal detect it. We're the first group ever to be offered that opportunity by the owner. It's the first Saturday. The second is this Saturday. I will be in Nevada. Okay. Well, it doesn't hurt to ask. You know what I do is um, I also have a few um, few YouTube shows that I did with um, one of the members of The Temptations and one of the members from Tony, Tony, Tony. Um, I, I did my semi-celebrity interviews on, on video when I'm, and when I go to Vegas. Uh, and March 2nd, it is one of those days. I'll be gone that Friday, and I'll be back that Saturday night. Okay. Um, I'm not sure. I know it'll be after 2. That's all I know is it'll be after 2, and you guys are probably going early in the morning. But you said you had another one in May, right? Uh, yeah, I think May is going to be the, the month we try to go out there to uh, the Titan II missile silo site in St. David. If that doesn't fall through, remember we we wanted to go check out the actual mine in Gleason and do a video on the actual mine we, inside yeah, it. We have a whole list of stuff. We can find we can find something every single Saturday to do. <laughs> wow, and I plan on doing it. I'm trying to. Didn't you text me today? Uh, I did not. No, did you message me? I uh, no. Do, oh, I I did send you a couple of messages on Facebook on. Uh, Four seven three nine zero two two. Whose number is that? That's my number. Okay. Uh, can I lock it in my phone? Yes. Sure. Okay. Nine zero two two. Okay. Nine zero two two. Oh. When I'm going to send you. Um. Next week. I'm going to send you. Oh. The okay. Radio. I wish you'd finish this up. No, that's not going to do it. I'm going to send you a link. And this has been a Fern Brothers time. And I'm production. Time.